It is the year of St. Joseph. It is the 500th anniversary of the first Mass and the first baptism in our country. And it is the 30th anniversary of the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines. And the Word of God for us right now is, I thirst. Did St. Joseph experience thirst? In the last joyful mystery, the finding in the temple, where the Virgin Mary and St. Joseph found the 12-year-old child in the temple, discussing with the teachers and the learned, Mary and Joseph exclaimed, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I were searching for you. It was a paraphrasing of the Psalms. As the deer longs for running streams, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. We only read that only the Virgin Mary spoke, but she said it on behalf of Joseph also. Your father and I were looking for you. In a manner of speaking, we could also hear Joseph say, Son, why have you done this to us? Your mother and I were looking for you. Your mother and I were thirsting for you. Joseph knew thirst, and Joseph knew for whom to thirst. And it is the Lord alone who can satisfy that thirst. 500 years ago, our ancestors received the first baptism in our archipelago. The first to be baptized was King Humabon and his wife and 800 more. They were baptized. They received the title Children of God. Why? Because prior to that, they were thirsting for something but they did not know. There was something lacking in life, but they did not understand. There was something that was absent, but they could not figure out. Like Joseph, they were athirst. But unlike Joseph, they did not know for whom. They did not know for what. They only knew they were thirsty. It is like the exclamation of St. Augustine, where he said, O beauty ever ancient, ever new, my heart is restless until it rests in you. There was something in his heart that was restless, that was not at peace, that was thirsty, that was hungry, and uh, the young Augustine did not know. Through the prayers of his mother, he met Jesus. And by the grace of God, our ancestors heard the gospel and they were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And they became children of God. And they knew at that time that the thirst can only be satisfied by the water, which is Jesus Christ himself. Some people thirst and they know for whom they thirst. Some people thirst and they don't know for whom they thirst, they only know the thirst. But then, brothers and sisters, some people thirst, and they do not even know they are thirsty, because the substitutes are so strong. The poor substitutes are so intoxicating, they can help you forget even your thirst. The substitutes can become so convincing, that you will not even remember you are thirsty. And that was how it was when we celebrated the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines. We did not know we were thirsty because commercialism was filling it up. We did not know we were thirsty because we were so busy with the things of this world, with the progress of technology, we were so busy with secular concerns like politics or getting richer or getting more popular or tapping the surveys. 
we did not know what we were thirsting for. And then the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines laid it out for us. Our thirst is for the Lord. And if you're looking for the Lord, He will be there to satisfy that thirst. My dear brothers and sisters, I thirst. Some people are thirsty and they know for whom. Some people are thirsty and they don't know for whom. Some people are actually thirsty and hungry and starving and famished. And they do not even know that they are already starving. In a manner of speaking, already dehydrated. They don't know because the poor substitutes are so convincing. Where are you? Are you like Joseph, who knows for whom he is thirsting? Are you like King Humabon and the 800, who were thirsting for something, somebody they don't know? Or are you thirsty, but you do not even acknowledge it, because the poor substitutes are so convincing that you have forgotten that thirst? You have silenced the longing of your soul. You have silenced, you have stopped the thirsting of your heart. You have silenced the grumbling of your heart for real food because the substitutes are so strong. And the Lord says to us, I thirst. The thirst of the Lord is our thirst. If you are looking for something and you know you're thirsty, I want to assure you, brothers and sisters, it is the Lord, only in the Lord. It is not more sex. It is not more alcohol. It is not more drugs. It is not more political power. It is not more money. It is not more popularity. It is not more likes on Facebook. It is the Lord, only in the Lord. With more sex, you will thirst for more sex. With more alcohol, with more drugs, with more money, with more popularity, you will just find yourself drinking and drinking and drinking. Like drinking salt water. After drinking salt water, do you satisfy your thirst? No. Your stomach is already bloated and yet you are still thirsting. That is what sex does, alcohol does, money does, drugs does. They keep us attracted, they make us drink and drink, but our thirst is never satisfied, only in the Lord. But if you are a thirst, but you don't know, or the substitutes are so convincing that you do not feel any hunger or any thirst, any longing for something higher or something deeper, brothers and sisters, let me lead you to three very important sources of living water. Go to the orphans. Go to the widows. Go to the strangers. The orphans, the widows, and the strangers are the biblical poor. And if you're looking for Jesus, you will find Jesus in them. It is quite strange that the orphans and the widows and the strangers, people we do not like, people we suspect, people who live in the margins, are the very same people who will make us aware, I was really thirsty and I did not know. And it is for the Lord for whom I thirst and I did not understand. I thirst. Thirsting for the Lord like Joseph and Mary. I thirst. Thirsting for something I cannot understand, like King Humabon and our first Christians. I thirst, not even knowing that you are thirsty. Recognize the Lord. Only in the Lord can we find full satisfaction. When you hear the words of the Lord, I thirst. Remember your thirst. Recognize your thirst. And believe me, 
the one who is thirsty is the only one who can fill up your thirst. It is the Lord.